guys, welcome to I'm Elaine. It's your girl Mimi. How's everyone doing? I feel like I need to put on my hat because we're gonna be talking about moving to LA today. I'm very, very excited to do this video because I've been living in LA for quite a while now. So I feel like I got this down. I'm gonna put on my hat because, you know, everyone thinks LA is all about just, oh my god, this is not looking. LA. LA is all about, you know, going to the beach and the palm trees and the sand. And yes, it includes that in LA, but there's so much going on in LA that you have no idea. And I want to give you these tips. If you're young, you know, and you don't, you know, and you're coming here because you want to either do entertainment or maybe you want to go to school here. The first thing obviously on your mind is how am I going to pay for an apartment? Like what's affordable in LA? You always hear those stories of like, you always hear those stories of like um, people rooming with like six roommates and stuff like that, you know. My story, it's not like that. I moved here with my boyfriend and my dog and I knew that we needed something affordable that we can easily afford. When I first moved here, I moved to Koreatown. Now LA is broken down into like, you know, little, little towns or whatever. And um, Koreatown was I was recommended to go to because when I did my research online I found out they were the cheapest and um, my old professor who used to live in LA she suggested it as well so I looked into Koreatown now the beautiful thing about Koreatown is that it's kind of like in the middle of everything like you are like three miles from Hollywood you can go down one street Wilshire Boulevard and go all the way to Santa Monica if you wanted to and it's just it's kind of like that middle point which is really nice LA has bachelors studios and then one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom etc for us we needed a studio the difference between a bachelor and a studio more than likely is going to be the fact that it has a kitchen so we needed a kitchen because you know we just needed to cook and stuff you know it was kind of like a well we didn't need it but it was a necessity for us we didn't want to like lose that you know lose out on that and um, if that was one person maybe a bachelor would be fine for me but with the two with me and my boy and a dog you know I needed a little bit of room so anyways we got a studio apartment and it was really really affordable and the spacing for our studio was pretty decent it's small guys it's literally one bedroom your kitchen and your bathroom I mean that's what a studio is so if you don't want to do that that's fine you can always roommate with somebody else and maybe split the rent all I'm suggesting is definitely Koreatown because I would say they're really super affordable and they're in the middle of everything. Parking. That's number one on my list. Parking. When you get an apartment, now if you have a car, when you get an apartment, make sure you get a parking spot. It is like crucial. We made the mistake and avoided because usually they charge extra for a parking spot. Not everywhere, but usually they do. And the place that we were renting at was charging 50 bucks extra for a parking spot. And I was like, no, I'm trying to save as much as I can, you know? That's what I'm trying to do. So I avoided getting it. Big mistake. I <laughs> Street parking where I was was horrendous. Everyone parks on the street. Everyone does. And there's so many cars and there's not enough parking spots and there's a lot of red lines which annoys me there's also street cleaning which is like every single day and it's 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 craziness like you have to be on top of the parking signs there's street cleaning or there's no parking during this time or there's permit parking only so you have to make sure that you read the signs <sighs> traffic okay we have a rule here I don't know if it's like all of us but a rule in my mind or when I when I first moved here I was told anything over 10 miles is going to take you a very long time to get there um, I'm not exaggerating when I say that even five miles can seem like forever but 10 miles you're pushing it I remember my one job I used to commute to Santa Monica and it was like I think 20 miles right one way and you know going there in the morning was fine because I had really good timing but leaving was horrendous I got home two I would say sometimes it could take me two and a half hours just to get home for 28 miles and I know for you guys sometimes 20 miles is really like 28 minutes but it's not in LA <laughs> so you have to get used to the fact that traffic is going to be craziness even when it's like rush hour normal time like five and six no rush hour does not end until like 9 p.m and um, I'm being dead serious about that one thing I can suggest if you know where you're going to go to school or if you know where you're going to work I would try to live cl as close as possible to there because the traffic will drive you insane it will drive you crazy no exaggeration you have to pay everywhere you go pretty much like if you want to go to the mall 
you have to usually pay. There are a few places, you know, that are an exception, like Culver City, um, their mall, Burbank, their mall, Glendale, their mall, not the Americana, but the mall. Um, that's free to park, but most of the time where you go, like the Beverly Center or the Grove, like the, the, the hot spots, you usually have to pay. Santa Monica, you usually have to pay for a parking spot. Um, you know, obviously you can get it probably validated, but only for so long, you know. Um, so just keep in mind that you should always have cash, and it kind of sucks when you just want to go browse around and you know, just, I still have to pay. But you kind of get used to it after a while. You kind of figure out where to park and um, where to go and things like that. Would I suggest LA? Would I recommend LA? I think it just depends on what you're trying to do. I don't think it's a city for everybody. Um, LA can swallow you up and spit you out. Um, and I don't think it's so much like the people or the weather. The weather's amazing. I think it's really the traffic and like just there's so many people. It's like overly populated and uh, there's so much traffic and that might get to you. I know for a person who has anxiety, myself, um, it, it can get to me a lot. Just do your research. I would highly recommend at least visiting before you move. Um, also, I recommend, you know, doing it. You know, if you really wanted to always move to LA, then move to LA. I hope that this helped you guys. If you have any questions about LA, let me know, and I'll probably make a separate video if there's a lot of them. Um, and like up the video if you want more of these kind of tips, tips videos, because I have a lot of things that I've experienced that I would love to give tips on. Um, and subscribe for more videos, and I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna put my hat back on. Oh. <laughs> Bye guys! This on its own is beautiful, but over this, it just like, it just makes your lips look like, mm, you want to kiss me? Okay. <laughs>